Welcome to a brand new video and today we're going to be looking at The Great Awakening. Now if you've heard this on social media or if you've looked through your Instagram and you've seen some woo woo crazy people <laughs> talking about The Great Awakening and everything else like that, I thought it's time to explain what it is and what we're going through at this moment in time because you might see a lot of videos with people that are supposedly spiritual and everything else like that and that's not a diss by the way it's <laughs> saying supposedly it's just saying like people who are to see themselves as being a spiritual person or uh, religious or any sort of way are saying that this is the great awakening now if you're confused on what that actually is then let me oh, my <laughs> then let me get into what this actually is um just over some Fortnite gameplay <laughs> so you don't have to watch the gameplay if you don't want just literally, literally listen to my voice and sort of uh, let me explain this to you because I thought we'll do this in sort of podcast format and I can talk a bit more about it so from my own interpretation of what the Great Awakening is it's basically a series of events that causes people to become more enlightened more spiritual or more religious within their life and this is not to say like um this is not to say like the the be following a certain religion the that she's just completely abandoning the ways of life and everything else like that it's in my interpretation of being spiritual is enjoying life really it's uh, to sort of know them sort of try and find uh, their own meaning of life what i really recommend um people understand about the great awakening is that it's not to be it's not to be some sort of woo woo person or crazy or anything else like that it's literally these series of events that are happening within the world right now uh, if you look at 2020 in general, it was a bit of a rubbish year <laughs> to say, to say politely. Like um, it was a bit of a rubbish one for a lot of reasons. However, those actions have completely changed the way the world works. And what's happening in the world is completely changed what the world works, and it's basically making people either concentrate more on focus more on improving their life. Or it's people it's making people go on the other scale where they're hitting rock bottom now when you hit rock bottom where's the only way you can go you can either just exit the planet which is, sounds horrible to say but a lot of people have really suffered this year from mental health problems which is one of the most horrible things in the world that people have to go through this another thing is if people people really realize they hit rock bottom they're gonna try and become better they're gonna try and become better people and they're gonna rise to the top now this is what you've seen with a lot of people this year i know that a lot of people have actually decided to make a better life for themselves you know what i mean they've decided right you know what i'm gonna improve my finances because they might have lost a job or i'm gonna i'm gonna do something else where i decide to you know better my life or maybe something to do with the health a lot of people having health awakenings um a lot of people uh, focusing more on meditation and stuff like that because they're focusing on ways that they can actually better themselves um because a lot of people have really been thinking like oh i'm not feeling great um and there's nothing really i can do about it and the business might have failed they might have lost a job so a lot of people are turning to different ways to better their own self so this is why you're seeing so many people looking to meditation more so many people looking at um breath work and different ways to actually better the mental health people are going up looking after themselves more they're going for exercise they're doing yoga they're going for runs i was driving before and i've never seen that many people go for a run in my life i literally seen so many people walking past doing runs and i'm the same like i've, I've started doing running more as well <laughs> like, do you know what i mean i've started doing more cardio to better my life and stuff like that as well and i think what this does is re it makes people realize you know what i mean it makes people realize that they're too comfortable when you're thrown out of your comfort zone you are thrown into a place where you're uncomfortable and that uncomfort makes you want to try and better everything um so this is one thing as much as everything that's happened is horrible there's positives in it because people have decided to bounce back from everything people decide to better their lives maybe look into the health more maybe look after themselves more um because i say like i, I felt like i have a spiritual awakening sort of thing uh why i didn't believe in any of it and then in like 2019 when something bad happened to me um something bad happened financially and basically i was like oh no i've got to better myself i've got to do this and i felt really down i felt really fed up um and i was like looking at ways to better my mood i started looking at meditation and then i literally just started doing meditation every day and 
I learned about manifestation, everything, just everything come from that bad event. And the way I like to see it is challenges put pressure on the person. They put pressure on everything to create it, create something else. It's literally like a sword um, at a blacksmith or anything like that. When someone, I think uh, uh, there was, I can't remember exactly the guy's name, but he, on a Joe Rogan podcast, oh my God, he's the military guy. Oh, I can't remember him, he's a beast, man. Uh, UFC fighter. I'll, I can't remember his name for some reason. It's not coming to me now, but he's a, he's a brilliant legend. And uh, basically, what he does is uh, he decides to get a sword. He doesn't say the size of a sword. I'm just distracted because of outside. Basically, <laughs> basically, um, he makes it seem like he compares like uh, an analogy, basically, to a sword being pressed and hammered down. Okay, so he's basically saying like. The only way to make a really perfect sword, or the only way to make a really perfect item, a blacksmith, is to put pressure on it, to burn it, put hammer it, hammer it down, and then once it's done, it's perfect. And it's the way the I believe this is the way the universe also makes us look in different ways as well, look at different things in life, because this pressure that is put on us makes us look within ourselves, makes us improve ourselves, makes us everything, because it forces us out of our comfort zone. The challenges make us a better person and this is what the whole entire great awakening is the challenges that are being thrown at us to become better people for something else to maybe there's something going on in the world right now where we, we as people have to be stronger to benefit and better the world do you know what i mean maybe we're getting too comfortable and now we've got to step up and help everyone throughout the world as well and that's my interpretation on what the great awakening is it literally i believe that uh, if you've never looked at the great awakenings from the past and what they are basically it's again something similar but this is more of a christian thing in america basically what happened is that people were lo losing interest in god and i'm not saying i was baptized but i've never really done any christian practices or anything like that um uh, so yeah they basically had this sort of thing where you sort of lost touch with religion lost touch with uh, spiritual practices and lost touch with uh appreciating a lot of things you're just going by an autopilot about the daily life and basically it happened where so many other people a bad a bad event happened and so many people were like oh we need to look at, at being a better version of ourselves being looking more into god looking more into this and that found in peace and clarity within their life do you know what i mean and i think a lot of people have been thinking the same thing right now uh, but on the other hand a lot of people see it as like oh if there was a god god wouldn't do this to us now you have to think as well that um, you've got to think that there's something else outside of our own reality. Do you know what I mean? Um, and my own belief is that there's an afterlife after this and everything else like that. So my own belief is that maybe people, the people who have affected where they've horrifically died or anything else like that might be needed somewhere else. And now I'm not saying that's to offend anyone or anything else like that. Because recently, my, last week, my granddad did die as well. Uh, only six days ago from this, from the day I'm recording this. And um, what I want to say is that as much as it was horrible, as much as you missed them, as much as everything else like that, I believe that they will go on f f into another place, into another, do you know what I mean? And to help something else, to be stronger in somewhere else. Whereas if you're strong here, then God will realise, okay, you, you, you need it here. You know what I mean? Um, or if you can't do this, then it be like, okay, you need you need it somewhere else. As much as you miss him, as much as anything else, then you, obviously it's not for us to understand, and I'm not saying I understand it either. This is just what I like to think, my interpretation of it. There's always got to be something else. Do you know what I mean? There's always got to be something else. And the pressure that's being put on us as well it's making us better people in the long run. So that's all I'm going to say. And also, just before I leave, if you're trying to think like, no, it wouldn't, lad. If God loved us, you'd just, you'd just be. I don't know why I went scouts like, but if if, if God loved us, you'd just be chilling. You know what I mean? You'd just be chilling, having a <laughs> playing FIFA all day, smoking weed. <laughs> that's not the case. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you want to have, if you want to like build yourself build up your body in a gym or something then you gotta let's say you want to build your biceps or something like that then you've got to lift weights you've got to lift biceps i mean you know what i mean and when you do that it hurts there's pain there but in the long run it gets bigger you get stronger and this is what's happening to the world right now in my opinion <laughs> so this is what a great awakening is um, and this is what all these events are happening in the world uh and it's not over yet 
uh, it's not going to be over yet. It's going to be over in a couple of years, and life's going to be better in the long run. So, uh, just be excited for that. <laughs> so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe as well for more tips on how to better your life and everything else like that. Uh, I've been Ronan. Thank you all for watching. See you later.